Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Sean from RideSharing101.com with a, uh, a brief daily vlog. And on today's daily vlog, I know recently I talked about passenger names and how passengers can put kind of whatever name they want and sometimes you get nicknames and it's it can be kind of, screw, kind of screwy. But um, it's kind of interesting the other way around. I, I like nicknames, I like shortening people's names, I like talking to people about their names, especially if it's, uh, if it's uncommon. And I um, had this happen all actually in one day over the weekend. I picked up uh, a woman named Olivia, and I pick up a lot of Olivia's. I, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, a very common name, or it's becoming a very common name. So I picked this woman up, and I said, hey, um, Gotta, I want to ask you a question about your name, if you don't mind. I, I'm into nicknames, and I'm just wondering, do uh, do you have a nickname? Do people, and she's like, yeah. I'm like, do people call you Liv for short? And she's like, yeah. And I go, you know, it's really funny because I've picked up about 10 Olivia's, and everybody calls them Liv, but I would think that they would call they would, you know their friends would call them olive does anybody ever call you olive and she's like no you know not really every once in a while and i go oh, okay do you mind being called olive and she's like no i'm she goes i'm fine with it i just you know no no one ever does that and i was like oh okay and i go well thanks i'm just kind of curious because i you know i've thought about names for kids that i might have and i i do really like the name olivia and i was wondering um you know, I always thought that I would, you know, if I had an Olivia, I'd be calling her Olive. So I was sort of curious if, um, if that was something that, uh, you ever had growing up. And she's like, no, I was always Olivia or, or, you know, or Liv. And I was like, oh, okay. And, uh, she was very cool. She was very, amen um, I was going to say amenable, but very agreeable to uh, me talking about her name. And, um, then a little later on, I picked up I-V-A-N, Ivan, and he gets in, and I said, hey, how's it going? I go, um, you know, I go through the whole thing, welcome, you know, to the car and everything, and I say, um, hey, I, I'm kind of curious, because I've kind of got an interest in names and nicknames. Do you pronounce your name, are you Ivan or Ivan? And he's like, oh, he goes, oh, no, I'm definitely Ivan. And I go, oh, okay. I go, I was just curious because I had a, um, an old roommate and he was Armenian, half Armenian. And he always went by Ivan, but that would kind of, people would get confused because they, they think it was Ivan, like Y-V-O-N-N-E, like the, the woman, the woman's version of that, the wo woman's name, Ivan. And uh, he's like, oh yeah, he goes, oh, I'm, I'm Ivan. So my, my old roommate was Yvonne Gregory Kalustian. And so he went by Greg to people he didn't know. And if you knew him, you, you could call him Yvonne. And um, so, you know, I was telling him, yeah, you know, I've got an uncle. My uncle is named Ivan. But then I had an old roommate and he was Yvonne because he was, you know, I'm Yvonne. Although he was, you know, born and raised in, in New York. So he didn't have that accent, but I'm, you know, adding it for some, some drama to the story. And, um, so I'm telling, you know, Ivan this and it's a pool ride. And the next passenger is, I was like, Oh, see, here we go. I go, I, I like to sort of play this game of where people are from and what they're going to look like. And you know, their background and stuff here we have Cassandra, but Cassandra is spelled K A S Z A N D R A. And I was like, okay, see, like for this, we've got Cassandra. So I'm thinking it's Eastern European or Russian. I think it's going, going to be an Eastern European or Russian woman. And um, Ivan's like, well, yeah, it could be. I go, okay, well, my money is on that. I go, watch, it'll probably be some, you know some diminutive Japanese woman or, you know, whatever. I throw that out there. And we pick up Cassandra and she gets in and she's got green hair and she's very nice. 
and I said, hey, I'm Cassandra, I've just got a question for you, if, if you don't mind. What is your, what's your heritage? Where, where are you from? And uh, I go, because I'm just, I'm curious about your name. And she's like, oh yeah, the spelling. And I go, yeah. And she goes, oh, I'm, I'm Mexican. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I go through the whole thing. This is Ivan. And I had an old roommate named Yvonne. And um, we were just talking about how there's different names, different accents. And I saw your name with your spelling and I thought you were going to be Eastern European or Russian. And she's like, oh no, I'm Mexican. So that is something that I do when I see some passenger names. It's, you know, I, I call it the name game. I try to figure out, well, where's this person going to be from? And uh, it's always interesting. And I've had some, I, I probably pick up 70% female passengers and 30% male passengers. And, um, I've had some few, some female passengers with the same name, um, same name of an ex-girlfriend. And uh, I'd be like, oh, hey. And then I go through this whole thing. Um, you know, I have an, I have an ex-girlfriend with the same name as you. And they're like, and then they're, they get a little leery. You know, they're like, oh, oh, really? And I go, yeah, I'm really glad you're not her. Thank you. And usually they laugh and, and they crack up and they, and they smile. And that's, that's a good icebreaker. So, um, you can have a lot of fun with what I call the name game. And, uh, I'm just, I'm interested in, in people's names and where they're from. And you can, um, you know, break the ice, start some good conversations. If people are into that, if they're, you know, if you say hi and, and they're like, ah, oh, and they mumble something and they whip out their phone and they're on it. And, you know, then you can pretty much just leave them alone and, you know, let them do their thing because they're not really interested in talking. But I'm always interested in the name game. And people like to talk about themselves a little bit. So might be something you could try. Give it, uh, give it a test drive and see where it takes you. All right, that's it. That's the name game on this issue of the Daily Vlog. Drive safe.